Do you love scary movies? Yeah. What about cartoons? So glad you could join us. How about a hilarious cartoon about a family of monsters living in New Jersey who like to eat shitty people? What are you talking about? You're gonna love Meet the Carvers. Now let's get this party started! From the borderline sociopaths at Cinema Dojo Studios comes an animated series unlike anything you've ever seen. It's got witches, vampires, murderous slashers, ghoulish demonic children, and narcissistic wooden puppets with a drinking problem. Jesus, already with the bitchin'. I just woke up. Go to the Kings of Horror YouTube page right now and watch the entire first season for free. Seriously? Tell us how much you love it and demand that someone give us some goddamn money for season two. Seriously, we need the money. Meet the Carvers. It's the funniest animated horror series of all time. And it's exclusively on Kings of Horror. The untaming an army of zombie ninja assassins. Enter the dojo. You have been wounded by a poisonous gun. Enter the dojo. I love the smell of night pump in the morning. How do you kill what's already dead? I love cocaine! We are training an army of zombie ninja assassins. With your hosts, Sam Sabian and Dan Nations. <laughs> Welcome to the fucking show. What's happening, spooky people? Welcome back to the Cinema Dojo Podcast. I'm your host, Sam Sabian. And once again, with me tonight in the virtual studio, we've got Dirty Dan Nations. Say what's up, Dan. What's going on? And uh, Paul, squeaky wheel, shopping cart. My dick's too big. I got to carry it around in a, in a fucking mobile dick traveling device thing. I don't know where I was going with that. Paul does have a large penis. Coffee. How's it going, guys? How are you tonight? How are things? Are I'm we all great. having a good time? It's, I'm good. It's Halloween season. It's uh, it's the season of the witch. For Stay those back, of you who fast approaching. are, fr- it, are uh, familiar with Halloween 3, that has nothing to do with the Halloween to, franchise. But... No, we're past Sam Hain, right? What day is that? No, Te- technically, is... it's the same. It's the it's, same, yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. like it's not all, like Boxing all, Day all or any shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> Paul's dropping his phone so that, so that we can get an accurate. Oh no, look they at got what Paul. It would be like if we were if we were on our knees servicing <laughs> Paul, we would we would see that. So, uh, Cinema Dojo Podcast. This is your first time checking it out. We are the. Um, the brains behind the Cinema Dojo production company that brought you Meet the Carvers, which should be your favorite new horror animated series. I say that like there's other fucking animated horror series. I mean, there's there's probably like a couple, but none as good as ours, if I, if I do say so myself, if I can toot our own horns a little bit. Um, Kings of Horror allowing us to uh, to do this this thing um, where we we get online like this in our virtual studio and we talk shit to each other for for uh, an extended period of time. Sometimes it's forty five minutes. Sometimes it's an hour and a half. It really just depends on how much marijuana we've all smoked um, and and what and, we want to talk about and what we want to talk about. Right? How many how many stories? How many stories do we have to talk about this evening? Uh, this this will be our Halloween cast. If you're watching this tonight, you should be watching it on Halloween, provided that it goes up in time, like it's Ooh. supposed to. Or, or, or you waited um, until the next day. Or... Well, if it ain't interview with the glampire, 
I hate to break it to you, kid, but you're no Brad Pitt, and that definitely ain't kissed and dunced. Don't ruin this for her, at least we're doing something this evening. Where is dad going? Uh, I don't know. What does he do every year? Murder a bunch of unsuspecting teenagers who happen to be friends with a virgin? <laughs> what are you doing besides getting drunk? Oh, I'll be staying in this evening. Why is the teal allergy pumpkin full of peanut candies? Uh, because the used syringes wouldn't fit. Now, help me jam these razor blades into the rest of these candy bars. Enough. All right, all right. I'll use the sewing needles instead. <laughs> or it'll be the yeah, or it'll be the next day and you'll be hung over, you know, vomiting into a toilet and and I don't know why you would be playing this during that, but I hope you are. Um we got a lot of shit to talk about. Dan and I uh, went on a little field trip this last weekend. Dan, why don't why don't you I'm just I'm fucking high and rambling. So why why don't, why don't you tell the nice people what we did? So we went to Madison, Indiana to a an event called Horror at the Ohio 3. It's and a, here we go. Sorry, full breaks again. By the way, if you've never been to Madison, Indiana, fucking incredible little town. Like fell in love with that place. Like I would live there. It's this beautiful little just middle America, fucking small town, John Cougar Mellencamp sort of vibes. Like, well, the I was whole gonna place say... was decorated for Halloween. Everybody was in the spirit. It was, it, it kind of also reminded me of Salem, Massachusetts a little bit because of the decorating and the amount of celebrating for whatever reason, especially in Kentucky. I think because this is God, the, uh, there's, <laughs> there's that cop again. shot again. I think because this is Kentucky and it's the uh, it's it's the upper button to the, the 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 belt buckle of the Bible Belt where see I tied those two together the on the knees that, Paul's dick whatever it, it wasn't it was it wasn't as clean a joke as I was hoping for um, a lot of people don't celebrate Halloween here is what I was getting at or they don't celebrate it the way that they should like people up north do but uh, Madison Indiana is in is in the Halloween spirit man so um, sorry Dan continue. Heavily decorated, uh, looks looks like a uh, looks like the set of Halloween Town or some shit, you know. Like uh, for sure. Uh, even Felissa was commenting on that. And speaking of Felissa, Felissa was their guest of honor. Uh, Friday night, she screened Sleepaway Camp. Email the, the camp owner was just such a joy to work with. Great actor. Uh, they did Which a live. Was fantastic. We had a fucking. We had a fantastic time. She did a live commentary with Mike McGrainer, and you can tell they've done it multiple times because it's a well-oiled machine. Like I really believe they need to record it and and get it out there. Uh, because I agree. And, and uh, hold on one second. Speaking of well-oiled things, Dan, cut in some spooky cheeks here. And we're back. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, it, was, it, so. was, it was a lot of fun listening to them. And I've, I mean, as long as we've known Felissa, and and as much as she's been involved in our projects and, and in our collective bullshit, she, um, I've never actually listened to her do the Sleepaway Camp commentary, and it was extremely entertaining and obviously very insightful. It's insightful. It's funny. Actress. It's yeah. it's got it all. Uh, you know what. Well, when you hear someone's going to do a live commentary, you're not quite sure what to expect. I mean, uh, you usually expect, you know, a commentary Words. on filming, a commentary on filming, but it's got right. that, it's got jokes, it's, I mean, it's, a, uh, it's highly entertaining. Oh, thank you for being here so much. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. We hosted a uh, scream, or well, we didn't host, we judged a, well, you kind of hosted a scream I, yeah, queen I... contest. Jennifer! That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> I know we should have warned anyone down there. They, they're not going to know what's going on. <laughs> it's for fun. I'm Cleary. Uh, 
right. Oh, that, that that might be the winner right now. Are they coming out of the same way? Keep going. Okay, one more. Pidge, as in pigeon, right on. Pidge. Let's see this. Beautiful. Right. Solid. Awesome. Land it. All right, let's hear the scream. Wow. I kind of ended up hosting it, like, sort of after I th I the fact. I think Felissa just kind of suggested you uh, do the it thing. It was very strange, Paul. They just sort of handed me the microphone, and, of course, I was high then, too, so I had no problem. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll get up and fucking run. Well, to be fair, Felissa came so up did. with the idea that the winner uh, it's would... kind of cool, Felissa came, yeah. up, Felissa came up with the idea that... Uh, the winner could get lines in an episode of Meet the Carvers, like a couple lines or something. So we actually Why wound not? up choosing two winners. I'm so serious. That's really nice to know. Let's give it one more big round of applause for everyone for all of the students who did it. Yes. Applause for all of our screamers. They did a fantastic job. Loving Madison, Indiana. Okay, so um, after deliberating with the beautiful Melissa Rose, um, we do look for specific things, and it's not just tone and pitch, but it's also how terrifying that it really is. So um, we we felt like actually two contestants. We we, we couldn't make a decision we had we, so what we're gonna do instead we said we said we're gonna offer the lines to one person we're gonna do two people ladies and gentlemen two people are gonna get lines in our, in our, in our cartoon so here's what we're gonna do season two meet the carvers this is our contact information so right down there email us uh, your info and when we start production on season two, you're, you're in. We're going to give you some wine. And where is, uh... yeah, yeah, that's, you're the other winner. Come here. That was amazing. What a terrifying scream. And look at this awesome little skeleton we got, folks. Everybody's in the Halloween spirit. So once again, yeah, just email us your uh, information. And in season two, you got lines. How cool is that? We want to thank everybody, the beautiful city of Madison, Indiana. Meet the Carvers, folks, on YouTube. Check it out. And come on over to the Ohio Theater tonight and meet the beautiful Felissa Rose. She's an amazing person and a wonderful actress. Thank you. Because they both had, like, seriously, some of the best screams. I've, yeah, the, it I've was literally heard. a screaming contest, so obviously that'll be what our focus will be. Uh, and I gotta tell you, is, I, you not know, at all, not at all what I thought the the contest the was screaming about. was going to be about. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "What kind of screaming?" <laughs> well, not not they that type, not the type of screaming that you get right. because it's too large and it hurts too bad. Um, I've never had isn't, those. Isn't screams. that more like a whimper? <laughs> I depends on if it splits on the back of their head or not. Oh. oh. Guys, gals, ladies, gentlemen, germs, goblins. Oh, and so and uh, back First to that. First time here, put on a, a bit. A, after that, uh, they they. Sorry, guys, we kind of hijacked the thing a little bit. They fit us in for a uh, quick uh, Meet the Carvers episode six. Uh, we they ran did. that. Oh, <laughs> this is the star. This is always the star. What's going on, spooky people? Everybody say hey. Hey. Madison, Indiana. Hey. Uh, so, my name's Sam Cornett. Oh. That over there is my partner. Oh, uh oh. Yep. Is that better? No. Okay. Dan Nation. <laughs> um, so, we make a show called Meet the Carvers. It is an animated 
horror series. Um, and Felissa is the star. She's our star. She's amazing. So um, she's been the inspiration for most of our writing um, when we conceptualized this like 15 years ago. Uh, it really didn't start to take shape until Felicity became a part of it. And she's the mother. It's, it's sort of Adam's family ass. You'll, you'll Adam's see it. Monsters. Monsters. Uh, <laughs> I keep taking it away. <laughs> it's uh, the, the idea is you got like a, the father character, the Herman Munster or whatever, is a uh, Jason Voorhees, uh, Leatherface type. Uh, Fel Felicity's character is Dolores. She's kind of like a witch. Uh, we have a girl that's kind of like the ring, we got like a Chucky, and we got the yeah. vampire brother. So all the characters are essentially throwbacks to 1980s, early 90s horror icons. Um, careful throwbacks, we didn't steal any copyrights. <laughs> um, so, anyway, we hope you like it. It is, it is adult animation in the sense that uh, you will hear some choice words, so if that offends you, I don't know, plug your ears, or this probably isn't the right show for you. So. <laughs> Meet the Carvers, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Woo! This, uh, Woo! This, um, this is episode six, so we decided instead of running the pilot, we wanted to give you something that was a little more indicative of what the series actually is as it's evolved in season one. You can also watch the entire first season on the Kings of Horror channel, a uh, YouTube channel. Correct. And uh, there'll be QR codes and, and stuff everywhere. So, anyway, so we got check it out, please. And coming out of the pond, a local hunter stalked and viciously assaulted by what can only be described as, well, Bigfoot. Now I was just out here minding my business and bam, I done got snapped out the tree stand. Big old hairy girl too. I could touch you with one that I was like, no man. But she wouldn't listen. Told my favorite overalls and grabbed my turban and drew like a stolen banana. I was fighting back, then I started hollering and liking it. Man, they thing you know, I done came inside that dirty old Sasquatch. Now I gotta worry about a little Sasquatch kids. One time in my life, bam. I ain't got no goddamn job. True. Terrifying stuff. Uh, hey, well, wasn't that the guy from the bar? Y you know, the one you stabbed. Uh, holy shit, I think you're right. I, I need to shop a knife. Would you ever make love to a large, hairy ape like this unfortunate man did? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I dig hairy chicks. Plus, my standards get pretty low when I've been drinking. <laughs> Oh, speaking of hairy women, they're playing reruns of Murder, she wrote. I bet Angela Lansbury had a bush you could part with a garden rake. My kind of lady. Uh, they and did. we're very and, you appreciative know, of that. I gotta say though, I don't. I, I we probably should have gone with something other than six. I don't think um, that all I the think, jokes I land. Think... I mean, I, let me let me start over. The jokes definitely landed, but I don't know that 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 they were our intended audience. Well, um, okay. Here's the, here's the yeah. only issue is that it's highly volatile, Jack. So like, it's better if you've gotten to know Jack up until that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's offensive. <laughs> It's offensive, I and, mean, and I could tell there it was. It could be, but it's episode. it's I still uh, it. Look, there's a lot of great stuff in it. Like you know, if it's I'm sorry, if, funny. I don't give a if, shit. What if you saying. if you if you got terribly offended, we're probably just not the show for you. I mean, no. Uh, if you're gonna I watch our material, think, though, that, you know there is something to on. the fact. Yeah, or take take them off. Or take them. Or, or take, take them better yet. Uh, Take them off and All see how far off? you can fit your legs behind your head. Because we're going deep <laughs> on this podcast, son. There's something to the fact, Paul. There's there's something there's something to the fact that like episode six, in my opinion, is our best episode. It's my favorite episode. But if you it's definitely the most watched, artistic. It's the most artistic for sure. If you haven't watched enough I episodes anyway. to know, right? To know the character. I should do the, the rest of the, I, of the cast as Jack. See, the thing about uh, me and Daniel is that we have known Sam for a long time, which means we've known Jack for a long time. 
that when I start talking about my little wooden dick, they know. They already know. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. they, they, they've seen where the bodies are buried. The ones that I that I fucked. Okay, so um, it, it was a, it was a good time. Uh, we, I, I would say it was definitely productive, even though I don't think everybody got it. Although one girl, because I, I, you know, at the end I I asked. You know, as I looked upon a sea of some semi horrified faces, uh, <laughs> um, you know, if anybody had any questions and, and one girl said, well, no, I, I, I have kind of a statement. And I said, what's that? She said, well, I think it should be on Adult Swim. Over and scan that QR code with your phone and get your credit card out. I'm almost out of beer money and we're dangerously low on weed. <laughs> so there were six episodes in this one. Uh, season two, we'll probably have, what did we decide on? Eight, I guess. Thinking, eight episodes. Yeah. Um, anybody have any questions? <laughs> Nothing? What'd you, well, I mean, what did you think? Did you like it? I think it should be on Adult Swim. Well, we do too. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. We, 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 we fully agree with you it should be on Adult Swim. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a market that... Um, you know, nobody's really doing animated horror. I mean, not like this anyway. And you know, there's the family dynamic, the thing that um, makes like the Adams family and the Munsters family popular. So it's it's a passion project for Dan and myself, and obviously Felissa. Um, but it's just you know, it's what we do. So thank you all for watching it. We appreciate it. Go to YouTube. You can watch the entire first season. I just, or you can just Google Meet the Carvers, you'll find it. Thank you all. M E A T. Yeah. M E A T, not M E E T. <laughs> and I said, well, we we also think that it should be on Adult Swim. Um, so you know, it it. I'll tell you this: it's at least landing from a test perspective. Well, and the way we want it to land, people people can see it in the same light as. As any other Adult Swim show, so there's that. we we right. handed out uh, some some materials, you know, for like with QR codes and whatnot. I got some scans. Uh, we got some YouTube follows, even though the we're technically not pushing our YouTube, but we still got some. <laughs> there's like a ghost blowjob going on on Paul over here. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Granted, uh, dude's friends with Felissa, but uh, we had a guy, he went home, and he uh, he said he watched the whole season after watching six, so he's the oh, antithesis. That. Really? That, that's yeah, I sent like you a message about it, yeah. Did he, li did he like it, or was he... Yeah, he, went, he said he went home and binged it. He's the, you know, the guy, well, he's actually in that Wrestlers movie thing with, that John Wells uh, was doing. Uh, you remember the guy oh, that looked kind of like a wrestler? Oh. You're talking about oh yeah the the, 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 the sick wrestling dude. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 so, uh, Al so Snow? yeah yeah so yeah he he no not Al no Snow. not Al his name is uh damn it although we could like, probably get Al why does nobody like look at shit that I send them uh bro I'm sorry it's been his a name his name is Darren Darren Lee Cup Darren Lee Cup yeah, okay handsome handsome bearded man. I, yeah, muscular. I know what you're talking about. He was good. He was good looking. Yeah. How, how handsome was he? I mean, I'm not going to suck one his to dick 10, or nothing, I'd say, but I'd say solid eight, uh, eight point five. I'm sure. I'm sure uh, many women. He's, he's getting bitches. <laughs> he, he's probably not hurting in that department. I wouldn't imagine. No, I don't know. Yeah, he could be married, but we'll just say if he wanted. Some well, either bitches, way, she's he probably be, he or married. you know whatever. He can, he he can he had the biceps for a harem. We'll put it like that. You know, whoever he he has uh, sex. Uh, yeah. He has sex. I'm sure. Looks like that's, the kind that's of guy really that, the could, end of the that could point. carry you around while he fucks you. There's something to that. I don't mean. <laughs> oh, me you know, like the the roadhouse I mean, puts you up against the wall. Yeah, uh, you know, just how, how attractive is he? Led us to he has sex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this, sir. I clearly well, I don't fan. want to we, just we, assume we that you. maybe he doesn't watching like women, content. you know. But I don't. Maybe know he the doesn't, answer. and and we're perfectly okay with that. Yeah. I mean, I I you know, hey, some days you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Um, I don't I don't I'll know him personally like that. So, 
Cinema Dojo, brought to you by Almond Joy. <laughs> Do you like salty nuts in your mouth? Do you like trick-or-treating? Do you like opening your bag wide to receive treats? You're in the right place, folks. It's the Cinema Dojo podcast. Um, so, yeah, it was a good time. We, uh, we we got to meet a lot of cool people. We got to hang out with Felissa, which is always a good time. Had to eat, got to eat some Chinese food with Felissa. Dan, don't you have a bunch of... Uh, of footage from all of this yeah yeah well it, it will yeah. already want, be cut in do want, or do you want to cut it in now do you want to just cut it in now i'm just no, I'm, trying I'm gonna to give you i'm a... gonna i'm cutting it in in snippets as we were talking about it previously oh okay well i like to pretend that this is happening live and i have some control over the editing process which i do not <laughs> so other than cheeks Happy. You can put some in there again if you want, or not. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I just I like big I like big fat ass cheeks. Okay, so Halloween 2024. Is there something else you want to talk about as far as this little shindig we went to this weekend? No, no. Portland, we're good. Ohio was a very cool event. Uh, love that theater. Oh, I, I will Sinatra say uh, we did watch a few of the uh, short films on Friday night. Uh, there was one particularly that I enjoyed called Cults. C U L T E S. Uh, and it was set back in the day. Uh, I'm not sure it felt Italian, but I'm not sure at the point at this point. Uh, but they watched. They accidentally. It was like a church uh, school, and they were supposed to be watching some informative film, but they accidentally had a trailer for Night of the Living Dead. So it goes into this kid it winds up having this uh, fever dream uh, nightmare about Jesus on the cross and he comes off the cross as a zombie and feeds the kid his flesh. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was pretty that was pretty I, fucked I'm, up. I, I'm in. <laughs> I bo- think you're body of to see that situation. One. Yeah. yeah. I, I I was only disappointed. I was hoping he was going to like get a goblet and like slash his <laughs> stomach and have some blood for it, you know, but but, you know, it was it was good. It was uh, you know it, it actually solid. made me think for this Friday because we're having a little Halloween party. I'm thinking about doing Jesus nachos, you know, because you can order you can order uh, the host. When oh I say the goodness. host, I mean the little Jesus crackers off of Amazon, right? So and they'll send you like okay. a whole box of Jesus. Are you aware of this, Paul? I, so you, I am you get aware a whole box this. of Jesus. Scatter them on a plate, a little of that plastic shredded cheese, some salsa, some sour cream, maybe a little guacamole. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have time. I'm just saying, Jesus nachos for that Halloween. Sounds high in calories. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the Lord's very low carb. Have you ever looked at Actually, the nutrition the, facts? The, the little the wafers are very not. Yeah. Damn. Like, I mean, right? They're made of nothing. They're, they're well, that's see, that's what I'm thinking. It's it's you know it's probably it's probably Jesus is probably keto. You know. Oh, you can, well, for sure. For sure. You wash it down with a nice salsa. sparkling holy water. Oh, get you a holy water seltzer. Yeah. You dip, know both. Uh, dip the Lord in avocado, baby. Okay. Both Sam and I are ministers. And yeah, anything mm-hmm. is holy water if a minister blesses it. Actually, believe it or not, I have my credentials right here. Yep. I can marry you if you need to be married. You know why I got that? It was to literally so that I could. Uh, uh, it's when gay marriage was was finally uh, passed, and I wanted to marry. I wanted to marry gay people, but I just never got around to it. So, <laughs> well, but if you're I, gay and you want to be it. married, hit me up, man. I I'll got marry it you. so that I could marry you and Brandy. We'll we'll make we'll make it weird, and we'll do like a we'll do like a, a like a penis tying ceremony, or uh, you know, I, I don't know something. You know how pagans like they tie the hands together? I thought it would be interesting. Nobody ever ties dicks together, but that seems I'm like sure the forever. Chinese you know do it I mean? with the like lifting of the weight, the finger stuff. trap, like oh, like do to, do tug of war, idea. little tug of war, we'll meet in the middle. M E A T. Maybe we should do. Maybe we should do a short film. Send it around. All maybe we should. Festival. If it's my dick. It's going to be real short. The, I'll tell you that. We could do the 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 Chinese finger trap as the movie. So call it call it call it, call it finger trap. Uh, 
I've got some movie news slash transitional like topics. Uh, Thank here. God you said transitional. We're we're in a strange <laughs> time. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to go off topic. All right, go on. What were you gonna say? All right. So first of all, Chick Fil A is about to do a streaming service. Uh, it's called Chick Fil A Play. The free app boasts family-friendly original series, podcasts, games, video-based recipes, crafts, and books. The it's first be project, real easy to see, for sure. The first yeah. project announced is Legends of Evergreen Hills, an animated series about a girl, Sam, and her friends who are able to create literal sparks whenever they do an act of kindness. Mm. The sparks come from Sam a secret. And her, Hold Sam on. and her friends or Sam and friends? What did you say? Sam and, Sam her, and her friends. Oh, not, not, not salmon. salmon. Not salmon. No, there's not fish. Uh, there might be well, fish, but the sparks come from the sparks we'll come from a sec- the sparks come from a secret world, and a sinister villain wants to steal all that spark power. It launches November 18th, and that villain is the devil. <laughs> because Chick Fil A, they're, they're an incredibly spark. Christian. Um, Corporate, which I'm not saying anything about about that. Jesus is Lord, the way, the truth, and the life. And I'll tell you right now, folks, when he comes back, he's going to be pissed. But that's not what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> what I'm talking about is Chick-fil-A's food is fucking horrible for you. You know how upset I was yeah. when I actually started looking up ingredients that are in Chick-fil-A? Like the fucking grilled nuggets have... Uh, Jesus Christ, they have like 30 ingredients for like grilled chicken. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we see we So you're, we you're better back. to stick you're better to stick with that body of Christ wafer nachos, huh? Just eat McDonald's, man. I mean, fucking and it's expensive as shit, too. Like if you're going to if you're gonna, if I'm going to eat garbage food, you know, I'll just continue eating garbage food that's not quite as expensive. You got to take a fucking loan out for Chick-fil-A. Right, 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 right. Although I will say they do have, bar none, the best customer service of any fast food restaurant. And I mean by a lot. I don't, I don't know what, what militant Jesus Academy they send those fucking kids through. Uh, or what sort of finishing school or they beat you with Bibles. I, I, don't, you know, I don't know. But I think it's those fucking kids, they know, how to, they know how to take an order. They know how to take, <laughs> they know how to take a fucking order. They know how to fill an order. They, they always, they, I, I never miss sauces. All my sauces are there. And that's a big thing for me, man. So you know what you're saying about, is they, 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 they know how to fill a sauce order. It can always be sexual. We can always loop it back. They know Stick how it, to Loop take it back into a hole. Take, sauce. take or, my sauce. All right, so Daniel. Sorry, I didn't I, mean to I, go off on that. I hadn't actually followed this. Uh, so because of the whole writer's strike, all that bullshit, uh, season four of The Mandalorian didn't happen. So instead they made The Mandalorian and Grogu film directed by Jon Favreau. Uh, there's I, a new version like of Favreau. the ship in this one, and it just finished filming. Uh, I like Favreau, but I hate Disney. I like the, so, you know, and, I and, like... And I'm, not, and I'm not sorry. I like if you're grown, If you're projects, a grown-ass man... If you're a fucking 43-year-old man and you're watching this and you just can't wait to take your shitty fucking family to Disney World to drop $10,000 on Mickey Mouse fucking testicles, I got news for you. Your mom should have swallowed. Go on. Some people are into it. It's not my thing. I've never been. Well, so. I just, I, I got to question your your validity. If I was going to if I was gonna do it, I'd personally probably prefer to go to Universal. But well, even then, I, mean, I don't want to be around. Universal all those makes. I, don't do all I that. mean, that at least makes <laughs> a little sense. But it's all just designed to fucking bleed you a cash. I mean, it's. Oh, you're, I'm you're sure. Not, um, Seventeen dollars. I mean, what are you? What are you getting for your money? I'm sure. Yeah, you know. Plus, I mean, who wants to just stand in ninety-five degree heat and eat fried shit on a stick all day? I mean, some people do. And look, if that's your thing. I mean, more power. They have to you. they I mean, have oh, a lot of they have a lot of actual sit down restaurants, but the problem is like it's a you, you you're I'm gonna really take being, out a I'm small a, loan. I'm being a hater on this podcast. If you like Disney, fucking do the Disney. Thing. We we actually have a really good friend, and he's probably not watching this, but but it, but if he is, 
His name rhymes with with Zach Schuler. Um, <laughs> I love you, I love you, Zach, but uh, you got you got you got to stop at the Disney thing. Now. <laughs> Is that uh, anyway, back, back back to the Mandalorian. Uh, no, I mean we can move on from that. Uh, the Blade movie got a new script. Uh, yeah. Is this is this thing ever going to happen? Like, no, here's the thing: it's not, it's at, not. at this, probably not. At, wait, we're we're on like four directors. We're on. I think this is the seventh round of the of the script. It's not, and it's a shame because I like who they cast. I do too. I would also like to see that uh, Wesley Snipes follow up final film. Uh, do it, and do I think it, I think it, that could that could probably have more heat right now. They should probably focus on getting that out there, and then it's kind of like, all right, you've wrapped that world up, so now let's move. I mean, forward. if you did, if they did that uh, like a Logan style movie, that would be brilliant. Yeah, you know? that would be nice. Uh, and and you know up until like what a week ago fucking they could have got Chris Christopherson back I didn't even know he was I thought he'd been dead for 10 fucking <laughs> that's years that's terrible I thought he was dead too I thought he was fucking really dead did. and then and then I just found out he like he just he died up to died I guess that's a Mandela effect <laughs> right yeah, there's been a lot of that recently so, yeah those those guys over in sweden gotta quit fucking around with that particle accelerator i uh i have i have some uh let's let's end the movie news here we're kind of cutting into just like a general uh general topic so area shaking. here sorry uh so <laughs> i've been sitting on this one not literally although paul would probably like to see some chicks sitting on it there is a there is a bat signal anal plug and it yeah. actually oh, works. Yeah. It yeah. it puts the Saw signal it. on the wall. Yeah. So like I'm actually gonna, I picture uh, I'm gonna send one of these to all of your exes so that way when they need you they can I, insert it and 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 shine the light into the sky and you'll go, I, Oh, someone needs my cock. I can't I help but seeing two chicks with their asses towards the wall, uh, replicating the Fox searchlights. You know, dun, with the dun, two dun, bad dun. signals. Yeah, that's amazing. I love it. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm Paul, in, do you I'm have any thoughts on these? Do you, I'm sure I'm surprised they're not in your uh, utility belt already. What are you talking about? He's got a kill kit in the truck of his do car that's got three of those in it. Do you know Kidding. what's in my utility belt? <laughs> no, I don't. He didn't look that surprised when I brought it up. So, <laughs> yeah. So you know, seen them. <laughs> my here's my concern about bl uh, butt plugs. It's always been that blood, blood plugs. Blood, 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 blood plugs. Blood, 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 blood plugs. If, if if you're a vampire, it's blood plugs. Uh, Don't do it, it's Damon. How, how many how many times do people pop those fuckers out and there's just a big old nugget riding on the end of it? You know what I mean? Just <laughs> and then but, what do you do? Do you you know you're not. You're not putting that in your mouth. I wouldn't imagine. I mean, if you are, I mean, good for you. That's commitment to a cause, but not me. Not this he, cowboy. He was a phycophiliac. Well, I, I saw this chick online the other day, and she was like, you know, I'm going to be this real is, with you. If, I take, my ways, if I, take my, <laughs> I take my butt plug out of my ass, you don't put it in your mouth, I'm going to feel like you don't fuck with me. Like, well... is I mean, let, did you have Mexican food for lunch? Like, what... What did you have for dinner last night? I need He wants detail. that chips and salsa. Right. Okay, anyway. so moving on from the butt plug, there is a product called Warmies, right? And there it's a stuffed animal and it's made out of a specially treated flaxseed and dried lavender. Now, the point of them is they're supposed to smell good and be warm. and But how do they get warm? You put them in the microwave. So, little Billy's got a freaking little penguin stuffed animal, and he puts it in the microwave to get it warm. Now, there's so many problems here. Like, what if you microwave it too long? What if Billy's a little tweaked and he doesn't realize that you can't put the family cat in the microwave? Yeah, I was going to say, Mittens is shivering. Let's put him on high <laughs> for fucking five minutes. It just, it it screams legal. From, from per personal experience, 
putting an animal in a microwave. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then turning it on five minutes, it would not, it, it's not. We like to tiptoe right yeah. up to that edge, folks. <laughs> right I think he just went edge. over. He just, he doesn't put in the microwave and shit. I know you the know, story. God forbid the, the, the fucking people from PETA start bombing our comment section. That's fine with me. Any publicity is uh, good publicity. He wrote an article. If you want to go look up tragicallyamusing.blogspot.com, go find that relic. Two Rat with Love, I believe, was the title. It is that was still indeed. out there? It is. Is that still, still out, out there? there? I it, <laughs> yeah, I looked it up a while ago. It's Believe it or not, if you want your shit to live forever... Create a blog spot, apparently. I saw, so the the Maxiderm review is on there, then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you, yeah. Yeah, you want to read it one show, you can get after it. <laughs> I, I, I got real obsessed with a dick cream at one point. Matter of fact, I've got some right over here. Not that I'm going to you know, do it for the audience, but it is. Hey, I, you know, God, if we could secure a sponsorship with those people. Oh. It's, isn't it like it's they don't make I it anymore, it was right? I yeah, no, you got to get it from like like the black market in Jersey. But I got I got I got a bunch of it. I'm am sitting on like a whole crate of this shit. And it, uh, basically, what you do is you rub a, a dime sized amount. I always go for like you know a couple quarters at least uh, into the shaft, and it 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 engorges the, your member with uh, with blood. So it's a it's a vasodilator is what it is. Just it makes your dick bigger for a short period of time. Well, and I but presume it, if you're a it, grower, it even makes it hang. If way. you're, a, like, I was you, gonna say, if you're a grower and not a shower, it just leaves it in that ultimate show state, right? Yeah, you're just walking around with a hog flopping. You know, <laughs> looks like a looks like a soda can. Paul, Paul's rolling his eyes. Like, He's already got this going on. So I know you already got that problem. I, I you know, I hate that for you, but uh, for the rest <laughs> of us. We don't need a shopping cart to wield our dick around. Um, Maxiderm, folks. So, no, so, I think it is. I don't know if it's illegal, so but I, what, I know they've been what, sued uh, several times. Wonder what it would do for me. I wonder what. Oh fuck! My guess is you probably would lose consciousness because the size <laughs> of your penis it's got to re it requires like two liters of blood already to fucking power that goddamn thing. It's like starting a nuclear reactor. So, you know, if it's if it was swollen to say just even a third extra girth, you're talking a lot of blood there, man. That's all I'm saying. You know, Happy we had a solid run folks. at seven. We're at seven solid run. We're at seven. God damn it! It's been so long solid. since we've done a podcast that I grew a fucking beard. So there's that. You literally got a either haircut. have hair or a beard, never at the same time. Like you don't, you never look the same when you're uh -huh. on this thing. I'm probably the only one that looks the same, actually. That I change my Paul's usually a lot wearing to fuck a hat. Actually, yep, usually wearing I do. A hat. I like to fuck with. I like to fuck with the facial recognition scanners at the TSA. Uh, so I'm always that's changing good, my that's shit up. Play. So, do you guys want to talk about this movie? <laughs> Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so um, <laughs> uh, we watched the substance. Sam's did, review. I gotta say, ho Jim hold on. Moore. Can I can I start you out? Sam's review mm -hmm. was that directly when the movie ended, he put on Rambo: Last Blood. That I was did. basically I his did. review. He needed to see a manly movie where lots of people were killed. I needed something. It wasn't really a horror movie to me. It was, I mean, it was definitely a thriller. It was, it's a body it horror was, movie. It's definitely a, a commentary on on Hollywood and and vanity and all. And you know, from that perspective, it's a good film. Is it my cup of tea? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can more still a still a fucking dime piece. Yeah, for sure. Even it, that bitch is pushing sixty, guys. And um, I think you maybe yeah, more wow. than that, right? She might be. Yeah, she might be like sixty-two. Very, very attractive. Still kept her shit together. 
Um, but I couldn't Pepper help but wondering. Together. You, you, you can acknowledge that. Same review. To me, more Kepper shit <laughs> together. Sam can acknowledge that it is a good movie, but it's not a movie he gives a shit to watch. No, Basically. and I'll, I'll never watch. I'll never watch it again, um, unless for some yeah. reason Pornhub's down and I need to, you know, rub a fucking limp one out to something. Because there's a, there is a lot of nudity in it. You get to see Demi Moore's box, and that's a treat. I've been waiting for that since GI Jane. Um, <laughs> GI Jane. However. I wish that he would have said it, that in Jack's voice. We could have used that at some point. <laughs> Demi Moore's box. I've been waiting for that since G.I. Jane. Um, clipping so, it. We're clipping it. I, I would give it... Uh, I'd, I'd give it two dicks, one partially erect for all the, the Demi Moore nude scenes. I mean, it was... I'm not telling you not to watch it. It does make you think about Hollywood, though, when you start... You know, you see some of these chicks like Madonna, who should look like the fucking Crip Keeper by now. Um, but Have instead, you seen her recently? Yeah, she looks like she's like 23. So she's she's 100% stealing children and eating their adrenal glands, for sure. Um, I don't think she I, looks 23, but she looks like something. She had a boyfriend that was like 28. Like That's <laughs> because she has money. Paul, I haven't really, uh, we fair. haven't really discussed what and your the blood thoughts. of small children. I figured you would have liked the artfully sound aspects of this flick. Like, there's a lot of interesting visuals. There's a lot of uh, I enjoyed pretty I enjoyed shots. This film. I I would say I'm not necessarily a body horror person. No, well, like, normally. It's not, it's not my ultimate genre. I have seen the fly. Let me, let me start that they're usually Dune mostly Canopy. focused. They're mostly focused on gross. So it was kind of interesting to see this one transposed with the ideas of beauty and really beautiful shots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You don't usually get your body horror with attractive things as well. Yeah, uh, like there's one street trash which is literally. Uh, homeless people melting and shit, like yeah, that's a good flick. Yeah, society a little <laughs> bit, society a little bit does it, but I and mean, definitely let's society be was an influence. Anyone who's trudged through San Francisco or Seattle recently definitely wants to melt some homeless people. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <laughs> so what I was gonna say is like I saw a lot of different commentary in it, I did, which I did. I I almost respect the 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 quality of internal dialogue that exists in this film more than I do the cinematography or just the artfulness. Well, like the way uh, people, you see people well, interact with Sue versus Elizabeth and yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, like like you all did hit the nail on the head with some of it, you know society and uh, you know, our body image that we carry around for whatever reason but I also saw a, a correlation in parenthood that existed oh and this and the sacrifice that is parenthood there's, there's so there's lots of other things in it. I'll, I, I will I, say one other positive thing about it um it, it was not the crow remake so there's that <laughs> um every Every film that's made since the Crow remake is immediately better than the Crow remake. So there's that. You know, they, not, they won on that front. Has not been the Crow remake. No, no. So, I, you know, I'm, I hate, I'm probably... So what's I'm the least favorite movie you've ever seen? I, I'm probably going like a three and a half uh, severed dicks on this, personally. Uh it's a really good movie. Now, granted, Three am I going to... Out of... Are you, is this out of four? Out of five, five. Out of five. I said two. I'm like two and a, a big fat scroat. Okay. <laughs> you know? So you're like... So not, not, not average. Two, two you're like you're literally five. like middle of the road on this. Three out, yeah. three out of five. Yeah. And five. and the points deduction are 
probably because it's body horror and like, it's not your your genre. I, I appreciated what they were saying. It's I, like, I'm judging it more for every aspect of it, so that's just where I'm going with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it something I'm going to watch again tomorrow? No. Am I going to... I might watch it again. I have technically seen it twice <laughs> because I came in while Sam and Brandy were watching it. Uh, you know, the dude... Uh, I, I think it would be an interesting flick to use for the purpose of edging. You know? <laughs> Like, like you start jerking in the beginning with hot Demi Moore, and as it progresses, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and then you jerk to her, you jerk to the alter ego, and then you have to time it so that you blam at the end, you know, when all the pustules start bursting out all over the audience. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It'd be fun. Hey, you should try that on Halloween night. That's all I'm saying. Try <laughs> bursting on the audience members? <laughs> Well, that that too, yeah, for sure. No, in this in this case, bursting on yourself. But when when the bursting oh. takes place there at the end, yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of exploding uh, chunks of things that um, you know. I'm trying not to give spoilers away, but it, it's, 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 it's it's got a it's got a very gross ending, which I liked, uh, even though I'm not really into that kind of fucking horror. But um, it just wasn't. I don't know, man. I, I guess, like, I, I like films that speak to me artfully sometimes, but most of the time not. Like, I just, I just well, want to be entertained. You tend, you tend to want comfort I food. Wasn't, I think that I wasn't uh, mentally prepared for it. Like, I went in not knowing. Um, and I was going to add one more caveat in our episode six of Meet the Carvers. <clears throat> We had a gentleman come in and do glitch art for us, where he glitched some video footage. His name is yeah, I remember that. Is Chris and uh, so Chris Chris. watched this movie in theaters two or three times because he enjoyed it and wanted to take other people just to see it. <laughs> okay, Chris. Uh, Wow. It, I know. I get that. I get that aspect of the. I mean, if you're a Criterion fan, this is probably something you're digging. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm a lowbrow, non-intellectual horror fan. On some, <laughs> I, on, on, for the most part, I, I'm a. Yeah, let's watch Street Trash. You know, let's get drunk and watch Sleepaway Camp Three again. Uh, kind of guy. I'm not. Um, you do I like I really stuff. Like artsy you shit. do like stuff like The Witch, though. Like, there's things that touch your. Uh, your yeah, door I mean, if it's dark that, enough but... and it's and, it, and it's and it speaks to the evil inside me, yes. So, uh, I guess, uh, you, you guys want to kind of end on, we were talking, it's Halloween, uh, we're kind of being loose on this, we can talk about Halloween movies that we like, or, uh, we can talk about Halloween memories, uh, just anything mm-hmm. Halloween related that you feel like discussing. Halloween when I, was, when I was 12 years old, I went as Adam West's Batman. <laughs> my, my first... Sorry. My my first Halloween is Batman. Twelve. That that's exciting. I remember um, I had a RoboCop costume, and you. This is back in the day when you couldn't wear masks in school, so they told me that I could wear the mask. Or or no, I'm sorry. I don't think I was allowed to wear the mask at all, which like completely defeats the purpose of being RoboCop. But then. I went to another event or something and I had to cut the visor. Like they made us cut the visor because it was like that see-through red shit. And uh, it was like, this sucks. <laughs> like you, we've completely neutered the costume. Like now it's, now I'm just wearing like a smock with RoboCop's face on it. Like it's not <laughs> even like it's the chest plate, you know? So uh, I remember that sucked. That's not a great, great memory, but it is a memory. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of good was... memories as a child. 
Halloween was always my my uh, my favorite holiday. Um, probably because I got to dress up and pretend to be something other than myself, um, which you know, there's a lot of mental whatever you want to fucking dig dig around in that psychotherapy was. Um, I I do remember. I will have to say the most memorable time was I think I was six or seven. Um, I dressed up as Dracula. My mom spent like two hours doing my face paint and like I had the, like the perfect little widow's peak. And um, I, I remember we spent some extra money on, on fangs and whatever went out because we didn't have a lot of money, it, but this was a top rate costume for like 1986 or whenever it was. I'm old. Um, anyway, I remember getting all of the candy that I wanted and, um, and then I got dropped off at my grandma's house because I think my mom and my stepdad were going to, to some sort of, um, uh, there was like a Halloween party at the country club or, or some shit like that. I don't remember. But, uh, I, I, I stayed at my grandma's house and, uh, and, and my uncle molested me. So <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, you know, I, I, I I'll, I'll always remember staring in the mirror and looking at that smeared face paint. Uh, pretty dark. What the fuck? I dude? dressed That's up as a. Little... <laughs> I, I dressed up as a Ninja Turtle once. I remember that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I had the shell and everything. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what um, a transition. Uh, I remember though. I had to be. Ra I had to be rough. I wanted to be Leonardo, but I, hey, hey, they only Sam had the red eye so band. Old. Let me ask you... Um, the true story. Both of them. I was a turtle and I got molested as a vampire. What's, Uncle Joe, what's your, if you're watching. Sorry. So, what's, what's your worst <laughs> Halloween experience? I would hope that's my, it. My so worst? She, I mean... Just hold such a cheerful... Uh... I was I, I was I was fifteen or sixteen, and I went uh, I went to a party, it was a Halloween party. I didn't really dress up because, I mean, I, you know, I, I didn't have a great track record with that. Didn't want to get fucked by an older dude, so I, I didn't wear a costume. Anyway, um, the chick that I was with, she drank way too much. I was hammered too, and we were in the back of my buddy's car, and um, I, I remember. I was about to get a blowjob, and she she vomited all over my dick and balls. So that's probably <laughs> that's up there for sure. So uh, we uh, and I had on I had on I, I remember I had on Jinko. Oh, I I had on Jinko yeah. jeans. You remember how popular those were in the nineties? Let They're me tell you, now. a pair of a, a pair of Jinkos will hold. An entire Whopper meal with bacon from Burger King and two or three donuts. Not to mention, you know, like, uh, I don't know what she was drinking, but it was something coconutty. It was not a good mix. And, uh, yeah, it was all over my balls and my asshole. I had to go home and explain that to my mother. Which I, I still don't even remember exactly what I said, but I had to I wash the vomit off my very testicles. Colorful. Happy Halloween, folks. Uh, so, so there you go. <laughs> my story is nothing compared to yours. Uh, so, uh, Paul and I had a friend, uh, we, we knew Stephen and David McCoy and there was, Oh, this, I remember Steve McCoy. There was this woods area by, uh, it was our middle school, uh, Bruce middle school. It became Liberty high school for delinquent children. But, uh, anyway, there was. It was like probably like what like a mile in one direction and then like you know maybe a quarter of a mile you know it was a pretty good piece well anyway we decided we were going to make a haunted woods right so we had it now it was also there was an apartment complex that sat right next to it across uh 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 what do you call that a culvert like a yeah cul-de-sac you know, no, like where the water, uh, it's not a creek, it's a man-made creek, you know, like for sewage 
whatever. Drain anyway, the it was a the it was, run by. It was across the shut up. It was across the way from that. So anyway, we're back there and we're doing this haunted house, and uh, my buddy David's going to, or I'm sorry, Stephen went to go get his mom. Now we had already been fucking around and doing stuff back there. So next thing you know, it's like uh, was Steve's it's, mom hot. I'm sorry, I'm just asking. Was she hot? I mean, I big wasn't titties, a fucker. Big eighties no. titties, uh, nipples. Sorry, I'm not no. saying she's unattractive, but no, I would not fuck my friend's mom. Uh, <laughs> what if he knew well, what he's his also nipples dead look now, like? So you freak asking that. What so, if he knew? So uh, anyway, That's what he said. Uh, Steve has passed on. He's no longer with us. I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't the end of the David's story. David's still so alive. You could- you could yeah, tell Steve us McCoy's what dead. his mom's nipples look like, though. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, Mo- Steve, moving Steve on. doesn't have a dog in the fight concerning his mother's nipples anymore because ba- he's not with us. Sorry, ba- go on. Back to the story. So, while uh, Stephen went to go get his mother to take her through our little mm-hmm. haunted house, David and yeah. I are standing back here. Uh, I'm wearing... Freddy shit, he, or I don't remember. One of us is wearing Freddy and one of us is wearing Michael. I think I was wearing Michael, actually. Michael Myers. And the next thing we see, there's this fucking police helicopter with a searchlight up above it. And so we're like, oh, the fuck. This, this, is, uh, this is not good. So we start making our way towards the entrance and we see police cars, and mind you, we're still dressed up like Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers, and so we're starting to freak out. Fortunately, we see Steven emerge from the fucking, where the police cars were. I'm sure that wasn't the first or last time that happened. And uh, mm-hmm. But he's he's not in cuffs, and he's coming towards us to let us know that things are okay. His mother has explained what happened. Uh, apparently, people at the complex thought at the apartment complex thought there was like some crazy homeless fuck rave going on over there because of the music. So uh, they had to break that up real quick. Uh, we didn't a get bunch any of homeless guys having a butt fuck party. We didn't We're uh... a butt fuck party out in the woods. So fortunately, we just got like a warning sort of scenario. Uh, That's disgusting. What time? Is the- <laughs> yeah. Do, do I Which should ones? I bring the chili in a pot or just fill my pockets with it? You know? Fortunately, there were no homeless men in the fucking waiting to like molest us uh, in our Freddie and Michael costumes. Like you Sam say stories. Fortunately, but uh, I mean, a homeless guy <laughs> with no teeth probably gives a serious blowjob. Stephen, the real hey, deal, McCoy. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen was about that life. Stephen was about that motherfucking life. I remember talking to him. We interviewed him on the Sam and Dan Nation on our first podcast about twelve years ago. He had a he had a a bosoming rap career that that uh, didn't go anywhere because he died. But um, he was a wild one. Stephen was about he that. He was life. always Stephen, a wild one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen was yeah. in these streets. Hey, do you guys do you, do you guys know so why there's sidewalks? You know why sidewalks exist? No, um... Because the motherfucking streets ain't for everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These motherfucking streets. Um, <laughs> Has anybody got anything else? <laughs> any, uh... Happy Halloween, fuckers! Any, any yeah, other I harrowing? For you. Uh, you. Hopefully you're already pretty intoxicated by the end of this. If you were watching along, you should... You should have been drinking something or smoking something. If not, go back, watch it again because we need the numbers. Share this goddamn video with your friends. <laughs> I'm because, sure um, everybody's gonna want to listen to the molestation stories. A f- I don't give a. F- I'm I'm an open. I know book, you man. don't care. I, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I got fucked as a kid, and the reality is, as an adult, I've accepted that that it's happened or that it happened. I've I've been to therapy, and you know what? I I don't let it define me. As a person, is it fucked up? Yeah, it's fucked up. But you know what? It's my trauma, and I can goddamn make fun of it if I want to, because that's how I choose to deal with it. If you don't like that, shut the fuck up and shut off the podcast. Um, anyway, you should go check out Meet the Carvers on the Kings of Horror page, because you're, you're already here. You might as well just... 
you might as well just <laughs> mosey on over there and give the first season a watch. You're going to love it. we got six episodes for your viewing pleasure. I personally can't think of a better way to spend or close out Halloween Eve than six episodes of Meet the Carvers with your friends, with your pants off, Everybody just having a good time, man. Well, you know? we've officially we've officially you made more. Over, help your buddy out. We've yeah, officially more made more of these. We, we've officially made more of these than episodes. This is number seven of our podcast series. Number seven could be the last. You never know. <laughs> that, you know we never know we which may, one's going to be the last, right? We we may oh. get we may get hard canceled, and if it, it and if it's hard, I hope it's I hope it's thick and hard. Um, <laughs> Don't ha don't halfway cancel us, folks. Go you got to go the distance. Uh, meet the Carvers on Kings of Horror. This is the Cinema Dojo podcast. This has been a good time. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rein it in a little early tonight because we got a Rob's <laughs> Hall to do. Rob, our our official Cinema Dojo correspondent out in the great state of Texas. It found the new bloody disgusting aisle. We've got all new stuff now, so we got the bag clips. We've got these nice little snow globes. Terrifier lamp, that's kind of cool. Let's see. That baby's hot. Pretty cool. We got some horror mugs. We got a House of a Thousand Corpses coloring book. This is cool. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I will fold this back. Check it out. Really cool Killer Clowns t-shirt. We got some weird Looney Tunes horror mashups. So we got it. Here's a Thanksgiving guy. Saul. Look at these. They're like Elf on a Shelf Chucky. Pennywise, kind of a cool cereal bowl with napkin and spoon. Get y'all a better look. There's the spoon, the napkin, cereal bowl, dream demon. Kind of cool. I might need that for my uh, monster cereals. We got the new Chucky that's out for the holidays. Really cool. We got. Krampus here. He's like the uh, making doll, so it should open up magnetically here. There you go. For those that missed out on the mini masks, they're back. You got a stock of those again. These little uh, mystery melt things are pretty cool. They look like the old school ice cream pops. You can display them like that. Pretty neat. Fright Rex, I'm sorry, Trick or Treat Studios, my bad, has brought the Killer Clowns out. I've got all three of these, but now you can get them in the store. It's really cool. Uh, we got a new Chucky blanket, throw blanket. Um, this isn't new because I have this, but that's kind of cool to see it again. There's the Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors Freddy. That's about it. Oh, we got some stickers. But that's about it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Run, don't walk to your uh, local Walmart. Pick some some cool spooky stuff up. All right, guys. Talk to you later. All right, so I was at Walmart the other day, and I picked up two of these Universal Horror Classic Melts by Culturefly. They're these cool little mystery vinyls that resemble the ice creams that used to get back in the day from the ice cream truck. You know the ones that always looked cool, but when you actually got them, they never actually looked like the character that they were. They had droopy eyes and melted faces, and those gumballs for eyes were horrible. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, there's five different ones to collect and two chases, and the first chase being a They Live Black and White, and the second one is a Damaged Megan. They each come with two stands, and I'll show you those in just a second. I will say that I used my Christmas filling skills from back in the day when I was a kid to determine which gift I was getting uh, to actually determine which uh, vinyl I wanted. So I actually got the two that I wanted, and I'll show you those now. And here they are, the Michael Myers one and the They Live one. 
and they've got looks like bites taken out of the side. These are really cool, nice quality, detailed, got some heft to them. Uh, like I said, they each come with a stand and I'll show you what they look like. You can display them two different ways. Here's the first way. All right, so this is the first way. You just pop the stick into the stand like that, which is cool in and of itself. But the uh, second way is the actual way I prefer. And I'll show you that now. Oh no, I dropped my ice cream on the sidewalk and it's melting. These actually look pretty cool like this. Uh, anyway, like I said, I got these at Walmart. They run about 11 or $12. Uh, let us know in the comments which ones you got or planning on getting. Anyway, that's about it. See ya. Just please support us. God damn it, we're trying to get money for season two. Uh, and, and, and the easiest that's way fine. that we can do that is is but you know share our shit man if and, you and like let's also be clear we're we're not trying to get money to pay ourselves even at this point we're trying no, no, to no. we want to no, we want to be able to extend our carver's voice actor family and you know yeah, we, uh, we, 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 we have to pay the actors so uh, we, we, we've, we've got some we've got some really decent uh actors you guys are going to love in the crosshairs but we got we got to pay them and i you know we gotta stop going into. We our actually have a line show. on another actor. Actually, so, we do, uh, and and you guys are gonna fucking love. It. We can't say anything about it because there, you know, there ain't no ink on a contract yet. Because we need some goddamn money. So back to my original point: share the goddamn show, share it with your friends, send it to your grandma. She'll love it. Um, <laughs> you know, show it to your yeah, kids. Yeah, get get them viewership uh, numbers. Make sure they up. share it with their friends. Grandmother's uh, cartoon. Yeah, the yeah, and uh, and other than that. You know, I hope everybody, truly, from the bottom of my heart, has a safe and scary fucking Halloween. It's the, it's the best night of the year. Sit at home, get fucked up, eat all the candy. Just eat candy till you're fucking sick. Put yourself in a diabetic coma, watch horror movies, and just pretend you're a kid for a few hours. Right, that's what right, it's all about. Write some of the, uh, write Bloody Disgusting and some of these other uh, news sites and tell them to uh, write something about us so we can get the word out further, like... Uh, I sent, I sent, sake. I sent press releases and, uh, yeah, we got <laughs> that. We can get terrifier going. Like, I think we can get meet the carvers going. We absolutely fucking can because it's a great show. Uh, despite how fucked up we are, you may have to divorce your love for the show for your <laughs> hatred of us. And that's okay. You know, don't, don't, don't blame the art. Blame the artist. Folks. Hey, you don't get a Jack um, without having this guy. So. Actually, actually don't blame either of them. Keep the art and the artist. Keep them. You got to keep the art and the artist together. You know, like 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 two penises touching heads, or or two boobies rubbing together in a in a very tight brazier. We we what went. Want. We went penises first, and then well, boobs. You know, there's nothing wrong with two dicks touching. Sometimes you just got to mash them together. Apparently, yeah, like old Uncle Russell. He used to say that to us. He spent way too much time in jail, and he'd be like, well, what we do here is we just, you got to mash them together and get them real hard. And I said, well, hold on here, Russell. What do you mean together? We got to mash, why do we have to mash them together? Why couldn't we? <laughs> so I think his idea for measuring dicks, like who has the bigger dick, is you put them side by side standing towards each other, and whoever's poking the other guy. Why couldn't I guy... have a ruler and you have a ruler? Why do we have to <laughs> mash the shafts together? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> At all. <laughs> he, he was it, like... Yes. That yeah. was the idea in his head, I think. And then I grab my for, dick, you grab your what, dick, what, I work, what, what I, problem, I work your arm, you work mine. He was time. a complicated guy. It feels good, sir. But like, it feels like a little, good. What, 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 in the algebraic equation of solve for X, what was X that that is what... I imagine if, imagine whoever's getting poked the worst uh, has the smaller dick, is the idea. Yeah. And then you, and then you owe that fellow your commissary. That's how that works. <laughs> or that fellow owes you commissary, rather. Paul, you'd be great in jail, I'm telling you. You'd have Just all mashing. the ramen noodles. All the ramen noodles, baby. Somebody be doing your laundry in the toilet, I promise you. Scrubbing them drawers. Okay. Uh, I don't know how Halloween-y this was, but... Um, <laughs> Halloween-y. See what I said? 
I love you fucking people. We love our fans. Thank you all for uh, for hanging out and coming Thanks, back and, and and let's let's push this fucking cast over at least over I want to say 1500. Let's get 1500 views on this fucking thing. We can we can do that. You can give us 1500. Happy know? episode 7. <laughs> Happy episode 7. Happy episode we seven. love you fucking people. Cinema Dojo, folks. Wait, you get, we got to do, do the thing. Ready? Got to do the thing. Got to do the thing. Yeah, yeah. 